hanging there over the drum. You're already leaning forward. Spared by only the restraints. Looking straight down at imminent death. Canada's Wonderland recently unveiled their newest attraction, Yukon Strength. was cool. Now you may be wondering, how does a roller coaster like this get built? Today I get to spend some time at the park checking it out and talking with some very interesting people who designed it. I've waited a long time to ride this. I bet it's gonna be fun. Greening, I'm, but I'm just scared, kind of scared, not gonna lie. What is all this that's going on right now? This is our brand new ride for 2019 called Yukon Striker. This is ah. the world's tallest, longest, and fastest dive coaster. So what about it makes it a dive coaster? Well, a dive coaster is different from a regular roller coaster in a few different ways. One main difference is that we dive in a 90 degree dive straight down towards the ground. Another hmm. difference is that the coach that everybody rides on is very wide. This one has eight passengers sitting side by side. How do you make a ride like the Yukon Striker, especially one that breaks so many records? A roller coaster is just like any other structure, whether it be a building or a bridge or a tower, the same principles apply. One tricky part of the installation for us was setting the track elements inside the tunnel. I called it building a ship in a bottle. It was trying to get those pieces inside these little places um, and doing it without damaging anything or getting anybody hurt. So. Interesting. How do you make a coaster that goes so fast? Well, there's lots of complicated calculations that need to be done. So when the coaster is brought up to the top of the lift hill, it's starting to build energy. It's like jumping off a diving board into a pool. The higher the diving board, the faster you get when you get into the pool. The same thing happens with the roller coaster. The higher we take them, the faster that you'll go when you get to the bottom of that hill. When you were younger, did you see yourself here? And did you ever dream of being a roller coaster engineer? My children say that I have the best job in the world. <laughs> and, and most of the time, I feel like I do. Clearly, a lot of work went into Yukon Striker. Now it's time for me to check it out for myself. First impressions, I'm alive. I'm not dead yet. When you fall, it feels like you're, it's more than 90. It feels like 100 degrees down. Okay, point I'm trying to get across. It's really scary, and three seconds is way too long to be sitting up there. In the amusement industry, you know, with other parks, I think everybody's looking to offer something new to their guests, right? You want to keep things fresh for your guests who are going to come back. And so you're trying to find that new ride, that new thing that nobody has. Um, and sometimes, you know what, you can, you can invest in a big coaster like this. It's not going to happen every year, but um, certainly when you're looking to keep things fresh for people, um, that's a consideration. What kind of person do you think would ride the Yukon Striker? You know, I think, I think it's, it's a thrill seeker who's, who's looking for something a little different because this is a dive coaster and it's, it's unlike any other ride we have in the park. How would you safety test a roller coaster like this? We put hours and hours and hours of runtime on the coaster. Before we put the first human rider on it, we, were, we had to run it over 2,000 cycles. So it seems people have a lot of good things to say about this ride. I really liked it. I was kind of scared, but like kind of not scared. I thought it was going to be scarier. The ride was absolutely worth it. It's great and everybody should go on it. But now I wonder, is there anything that people don't like about it? I didn't like the line. Well, the ride is, is really good, but like, as you see the lineup, I don't think it's worth this lineup. I was just like excited after at the fact I was up there. Well, that was cool. We got to talk to some very interesting people and even talk with some of the people who just got off the coaster. For CBCKidsNews.ca, I'm Matea Soto.